What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've got something, well I got some, some mail that I'm going to go into, but I'm um, just giving you guys a quick little update where we're at with the car. Um, I jumped ahead a little bit again and decided to go ahead and remember I was messing with my alarm here. So I went ahead and wired in a Deutsch connector so that way I can basically take it apart whenever I want and not have to take the whole side of the car apart in order to get to it. So just a simple two pin connector. Um, so I just pinned it and clipped it. I'm gonna go back with some heat shrink at some point and, uh, or it's probably just tape for this and, and clean these up. So don't mind that too much. But the point of that was just to, uh, to get that nice and hidden and, and accessible so I can just take that on and off if I want to without having to pull the whole car apart. So yeah, um, battery relocation is coming. I'm still kind of getting parts for that. And then, cause I, I, I really want to go into as much detail as I can for that video. So I won't go into this now, but I mean, I've got, you know, a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm going to go into, um, basically, you know, what you need and what you need to do in order to do the relocation. Um, I'm going to do front, to rear in detail. So if you want to follow along, you will be able to. But again, that's for another video. The other thing that I've got is those headlight templates. So mine look like these pieces of trash. The one that I threw over there and it's still on the ground. Has not moved it. Ain't care. But the good news is I do have an additional set. So these are not mine. These are from um, a buddy of mine, Mark. Thank you very much for these. Um, so I'm basically in the process now of trying to see if I can replicate it and make my own template for it. Because like I said before, 150 bucks per side for effectively a piece of rubber to keep dust out on the headlights is just, not me, I ain't mm -mm, too much. So we'll get these, uh, get these made up and then I'll find out where I can get the, uh, the clips done. And boom, there we go. But onto the mail. So I did get some mail um, and doing this battery relocation video is actually gonna be so much easier because of it. Um, buddy of mine, Tony, uh, out of the States hooked me up, man. He, he hooked me up big time. So I'll show you what I'm so excited about. Oh, let me get out of the light here. So for one, sent me a brand new GoPro Hero 7. So now I've got two of them. And then the other thing, Extendo tripod. So that's going to make filming things and you know working with both hands a lot easier so tony i want to say thank you so so much for that that's you know that's huge to me uh i'll put his instagram in here just go give him a follow give him a like on any photo tell him thank you from me but i'm not done <laughs> so he also sent me where are we he also sent me this guy which is a GoPro Hero Fusion. If you don't know, this is the 360 degree camera. So I can record one way and it'll capture everything around, which I think this is gonna be a game changer right here. There's, there's no more need for two cameras inside the car to watch back and front. Yeah, we got some ideas. When the car is running, I might even just take it for when I do uh, reviews. I'm about to have that fire content. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Tony. Anyway, on to the kind of meat and veg of this video, which was E85, which you've probably seen the thumbnail and the title and all that, but E85 that apparently rusts fuel systems and um, metal lines and all that stuff within a really short period of time. It's just not true. It's not true. So this thing 
has not moved, well, has not started in over eight months. The fuel inside of it is still pretty much a full tank. It's everything inside the fuel hat's been sitting in there for around eight months now. So if, the, if it was gonna rust, I'd say there's pretty much, that's, that's the time to do it. Like you guys know, there's no engine here. So the fuel lines that I've actually got inside the car, this is the return line. Oh, you can't see it because it's dark. But that's the return line that I've just got sitting in the car right now in an attempt to not have it to open air. But it's effectively been open. So if moisture and you know all the wicking stuff was going to happen with the 85, it would have been happening. So let me get... Uh, the new camera and tripod set up and we will jump in there and see if we can't find out if we got some rust. It may clog it. I'm not going to say it, don't, it won't do that, but it ain't going to rust the shit out of everything like that, especially not in eight months. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll look like an idiot. We'll pull this out. We'll check it out. Thanks for the extra Texas flag as well, Tony. I appreciate that. <laughs> So there's four screws I've got to undo and then I get access to it and then I've got to basically twist off the top so let's just go ahead and do that <laughs> Basically this is uh, the new power wires for my fuel pumps. These are both sending fuel and then my return is like in here. You can kind of see it right there. So two more bolts to take those two lines off and then we unscrew the, the, the hat. from this thing. Now I'm gonna need tetanus. All right, so this is the moment of truth. If, uh, if we believe the internet, this should be completely rusted, um, not reusable, just terrible condition, but Due to the fact that I can still smell a very strong odor of E85, I'd say we are in the clear. Look at that. Perfect. <clears throat> I guess I'll let you guys be the judge but everything in there looks perfect. And dang, it looks like I had a full freaking tank. Fuel level's pretty high. Oh my God, it's so strong. And just to get the full picture. There you go, you can see the metal. And I don't even need to pull the, um, I don't even need to pull the fuel pumps themselves out for this particular test because if there was going to be any rust, it would have been all right there because that's the, the highest point of the tank where you're always going to get the air and moisture. That's where it would have been. So that myth's busted. <laughs> now, like I said, only reason I did pull that apart was because I'm going to upgrade that and um, we're going to switch to a bigger fuel pump to support more power. Um, not really something I need to do right this second, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the cap back on enough to be somewhat airtight and be good to go. 
but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video just something real quick uh, for you guys while i finish getting the, a few things for the uh battery relocation that's pretty much it make sure you guys hit the bell get notified when the new videos drop like subscribe comment See you guys.